Employee resource groups, or ERGs, are exceptionally common these days. 90% of Fortune 500 companies have ERGs, or some variation of them, including business resource groups or affinity groups. For decades, these groups have served an important function within large and mid-sized companies by offering employees of similar backgrounds a place to connect and grow with others who share similar backgrounds and life experiences. That function has remained unchanged. But now executive leaders are asking an important question. How can we get more from our ERGs? Here's one impactful way. Merging mentoring and ERGs together, or more simply, by creating an ERG mentoring strategy. Hi, I'm Arash. Welcome to MentorClick's ERG Toolkit, where we focus on quick, impactful tips that help you launch, engage, and grow and measure the success of your employee resource groups. In this video, we'll provide advice on how to reimagine or expand the function of your ERGs and add a mentoring component. But first, we make these videos because we love seeing the life-changing impacts of well-run ERG programs. Showing a little love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons helps us know what's working and gives us the feedback we need to make sure you get even more content like this. Here's a secret about your ERGs you may not already know. Mentoring is already happening. It's probably just not structured. Within almost any group dynamic, such as a workplace or affinity group, mentoring relationships tend to formulate organically. It's excellent when that happens, but it's also hard to track. Executive leaders are starting to see the value in employee resource groups and their significant impact on engagement, retention, and productivity. In fact, a 2023 Capterra report found that 62% of companies plan to increase their ERG budgets. Those budget increases are to help make sure employee resource groups are not only more functional, but more capable of impacting key business objectives. A primary component of that will be leveraging these groups for personal and professional development through mentoring. That said, if you want to get ahead and make sure your ERG is future ready, you should start laying the foundation for how to add formal structured mentoring components to your ERGs. The first step to adding a mentoring component to your ERGs is to survey your ERG participants. Your surveys should be designed to understand four things. One, how many of your ERG participants already have mentoring relationships with others inside the ERG? Two, how many participants would be interested in formal and structured mentoring relationships? Three, the type of mentoring relationships your ERG members are interested in. Four, would your ERG participants also be interested in cross-affinity relationships? That last point is critical. ERG mentoring is a valuable strategy that gives you a quick ramp to launch effective mentoring relationships. However, you may not have the population size within each ERG to support the kind of mentoring relationships you want or need to create. Asking your participants if they'd be open to cross-affinity mentoring not only gives them more input, but if most of your participants are amenable to it, creates a larger pool to establish effective relationships. It's also a great way to strengthen your company culture. Once you have an understanding of the need, begin creating the mentoring programs that align with what your organization needs and what your participants want. For example, let's say 75% of your ERG participants said they want mentoring relationships that help them develop new skills. You can use that information to start crafting an open mentoring program that allows participants to find mentors within the ERG who are talented in the skills they want to learn. Or you can create a functional skills development program that pairs mentors and mentees from within or across ERGs together. The most important part of this process is to make sure you have a way to measure the outcome of these relationships. This is where software comes in handy as it can prove the effectiveness of offering ERG mentoring to your teams. MentorClick has found that mentoring can reduce turnover and for participating employees by 32% but employees involved in mentoring and ERGs see a 62% reduction in turnover. By combining your ERGs with a mentoring solution, you get quite literally double the benefit that these engagement and development programs have on retention. As with most HR initiatives, no ERG mentoring programs can get off the ground without executive buy-in. The data supports the idea that your executives will likely be on board with the initiative. 
However, you'll still need to arm yourself properly to convince them it's the right move. How much organic mentoring is already happening within your company's ERGs? Let us know in the comments below. Employees join ERGs so that they can grow, develop, and learn within the context of others who have been in their shoes and share their experiences. Mentoring is a natural component of that. Formalizing those mentoring relationships not only gives you the kind of structure your employees need to maximize the benefit of those relationships, but provides a more equitable approach within your ERG to ensure everyone has access to mentoring. And when paired with a software-based approach, you can scale ERG mentoring across your organization and make it measurable, something your executive leadership team will love. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out at MentorClick.com and on LinkedIn at MentorClick.